Dan, God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the places you take us to. And Lord, watch over us as we journey. Lord, help us to be good leaders in faith, but Lord, also good followers. That we may be in the fellowship of all believers, each taking our part in the proper time. Lord, we pray for those who lead us, whose time is devoted to the study of your word and the sharing of it. Lord, we pray for those who are new in this journey of faith, who have struggled through uh, a, a huge variety of spiritual approaches, but Lord, there is only one truth, and that is Christ. So help us discern Christ, to learn Christ, to hear your word and to follow Christ's example, to talk about Jesus with one another and to let our experiences of faith not be something so isolated and separate that we can't grow and encourage one another. Lord, we pray for our communities and especially those that we are called to care for there, for those that are still, yes, it's summer, but Lord, there are still people who are shut in, who are who are separated from, from their communities of faith, who are still afraid after the pandemic, who are afraid because of world conditions, who look at the news and think that's all that's going on in the world and can't see out past their own front door. So Lord, help us to take that love and that truth and that that hope back into their lives. Lord, we pray for those whose hope has been shattered, who have lost loved ones and who are grieving. Lord, we pray for those who whose, whose loved ones are, are in your embrace, but Lord, they can't feel it. Lord, grant them your peace. And so Lord, watch over us this day, especially as we draw close to your word, that its peace may abound and we may grow in our understanding of the discipleship we have in Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And we today, under the apple tree, we read from John 15, verse 2. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So one of the hardest things about growing fruit-bearing plants is the not just the pruning and the weeding, but looking at a good, healthy plant and seeing room for improvement. And knowing that if we pluck that flower now, more roots will grow and we'll have twice as many flowering buds and fruit-bearing branches. This is a tree that's been here, oh, probably for at least as many years as I've been on this earth. This is, an, this is a starting to be an older apple tree, and it has borne good fruit through the years, and there's lots of buds, and, and you can see some. there are some apples, but it's been a while since it's been pruned. And once pruned back, it will bear more flowers and more berries, and then eventually more apples. And it's hard to discern how to do that right. It takes study and understanding. It takes getting to know these plants and how they grow. And I probably won't prune this this first season. I will look at it, look how it's growing, look where it's strong and look where it's weak. God does the same thing with your life. Hey! My dog just tried to take after a Robin. God looks at our lives, sees where we're strong and encourages us to be stronger, not to be just good enough but ready for the great task that God has for us, that we may be a blessing, that we may be more a blessing than we realize, than we believe, than we even know. We may serve God and more than ourselves, not to be satisfied in who we are, but to rejoice in who God is. God bless, keep, and strengthen you. Amen.